Has this ever happened to you? Can't wait to try my new violin. There's no sound. Is there a instruction manual there? Hi there. So I'm making this video for people that aren't quite sure what to do if they can barely get a sound out of their bow. This is the fix. It's very simple. It works like 99% of the time. What usually this problem is, is you got on a new bow and it has new hair on it and whatever the company is that you got it from, they didn't put any rosin on the new hair. And so you have like a very thirsty bow for rosin. Rosin usually comes in your case. If not, then you need to get some rosin. There are some different shapes and sizes to rosin. You need to make sure it is formulated for violin and viola. If it came in your case, then it's formulated for violin and viola. You don't want to use anything but violin rosin on your violin bow. And mine's like a circle shape. Yours might come packaged differently, like a seven cloth. You might have it in a box. It might be squared shape. It might be a slightly different shape. So there is some variations to rosin, but it should be violin rosin. The rosin is very important because that's what grips the strings and gets a sound out of your instrument. It should be very easy to get a sound out of your instrument. You don't need to know anything except you just drag the bow hair across your string and a sound should come out. Over time, you can refine the sound, make it sound less scratchy, make it sound better, but actually just getting it to sound should not be hard. And if it's not sounding at all, the problem is the rosin. What you're going to do is you're gonna take your rosin. If your rosin's new, it's going to look a lot glossier at the top. It might be a little bit tough if you have very new glossy rosin and you have a bow with absolutely no rosin on it for it to kind of you know, stick to your bow very well. So what might help is if you take like a bit of sandpaper and kind of just scrape off the first layer of shine of the rosin or like take a nail file to it. If you don't have any of that, maybe just some few light scratches with like a coin or your car keys. And then what you're going to do is you'll tighten your bow and remember, when you tighten your bow, there should be a slight curve to your bow. You should keep, always keep this original curve. And it's about a pinky width of space you should have between the hair and the stick. And if you tight, you'll know if you tighten your bow too much because the stick will go straight across. And what's even worse, if you really tighten it too much and the curve happens the other way. Don't do that to your bow. Keep the original curve to it. So you're going to take your rosin and you're going to scrub, scrub, scrub your bow up and down, up and down. Maybe after the first minute of just scrubbing the hair back and forth, check it, see if you're starting to get any sound. So like, okay, so if it sounds like that, you're good to go. If it's still kind of like, and you're not getting great sound, guess what? You're gonna need to sit down and you're gonna need a rosin it a bunch more times it shouldn't remember it shouldn't be hard to get a sound to come out of your instrument this isn't like learning a wind instrument where it takes you a week to finally get a sound out of your instrument like no this should be like you get a sound out of your instrument and then we refine it over time but you should be able to get a sound out once you start getting a sound make sure that there's no spots in your bow where like it's not really gripping if there is Take note of where those spots are. Put more rosin in those spots and then you should be good to go. Please note a couple things. This sh should be like a one-time thing where you have to rosin your bow to this extreme amount. When you're normally just like day-to-day -day rosining your bow, all it really should take past this first extreme rosining is a couple swipes back and forth and then you should be good to practice. If you do rosin your bow like this extreme every time you practice you're going to end up way over rosining your bow. It's going to sound scratchy. You're going to have like a big dust of rosin. You don't want that. So this is like a one-time thing just to kind of get you going but you if your bow has no rosin on it, like you will be spending a while rosin it for the first time. And then just be sure that when you are done, you want 
to clean off your instrument. This is very important now that you have a bow with rosin on it because you notice it'll be rosin specks. And to keep the varnish of your instrument nice and healthy, you want to have a soft cloth where you just dust off all the rosin, like wherever it might go. I like to kind of go under the strings and tail piece, under the strings here, maybe under the fingerboard, in between the fingerboard and strings. And maybe I'll give my strings like one wipe off. I can't get every speck of rosin off the strings, but giving it a good wipe helps that. It just helps it over time not get too much buildup. But you definitely want to get rosin off your varnish. And you may even want to do one of these where in between the hair, and the stick, you thread the cleaning cloth and just give it a couple swipes. And before you pack up, make sure to loosen your bow until the hair just kind of uh, lightly touches the stick of your bow and then you can pack up and then you're good to go. I really hope this helps. See you next time, bye.